Hey everyone, it's the Dolph 32 and this is 366 Days of Cards and I've got a deck review for you, actually a double deck review and I'm going to try to make it quick, but first of all, a update on the contests if you... one little thing is, if you don't watch my videos on a regular basis then you're going to miss out on something, there's people are like well, I thought your contest ended on the 20th or or whatever, and it's like, well, I changed the date. I made an update video. I announced it during my other videos. Do you not watch my videos? <laughs> anyway, don't worry, I'm not changing any more dates. Again, the advanced contest ends this Sunday coming up, the 20th or 21st, whatever it is. Or at least, I hope to get the results in no later, the uh, videos in no later than Monday. If you don't get them in, you will be eliminated. As far as contest results for the beginners contest is concerned, tonight I will try to watch all the best of the best videos that I have. There's like 40 that I advanced, or 42, something like that. I want to watch all those again, so that I can see them again, and see who is indeed the best of the best. And then, I will do the results no later than Friday. I want to say, I want to put a guarantee on that, where if I don't get the results up by Friday, everyone wins, but no, I'm not going to do that, <laughs> unfortunately. I'd like to give everyone prizes, but it's like 100 people that entered. But anyways, I will try to get the results up by Friday, no later than then. And then hopefully everyone who won sends me their information over the weekend. And then I can get contest prizes out Monday or Tuesday at the latest. I will be... I will be at very least sipping out the girls contest prizes on Monday. Because I had their addresses. I'm just waiting to see if there's any... If they're going to win any more prizes <laughs> in the beginners contest. And then I'll get that all out. Except for maybe one. That's waiting for the advanced contest. And then I'll also do the beginners contest as soon as I can. Get those prizes out. Anyway, let's get on to the reviews. I got two decks. This first one is a vintage Arco deck. That I got from Magic Zack. Magical Zack, I should say. It is vintage. And let me get on the other side of the camera where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Back design is uh, very vintage, as you can see. Somewhat similar to the banknote aristocrats, a little bit. And like some other decks that I have. It's pretty nice. There's a lot of nice details in that. The faces, you get Arco faces. And it is a bridge sized deck. The court card basically Arco faces, which is like the blue crown decks and Arco decks. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Piece of spades is pretty nice. It says Arco playing card company on the bottom, Chicago, made in USA. And it's got this nice spade pip that has this, it has a seal on it. And the seal, I'll try to focus in there a little bit I can well you got this knight kind of a guy's head sticking out here and you got all four suits inside here so that's kind of neat and the jokers I see them the standard arco this one says joker in the two corners you got all four suits on the set and all four suits down here and of course he's got a yellow face, it kind of looks like he's got liver problems. <laughs> and the other one, same thing, except it's black and white, and it says plastic coated on his hat in red instead of the suits. It's basically what you get. There's no box, so I can't sell you the box. I've actually seen these online for sale, and not too expensive. 
All you have to do is search vintage article, you know, find the back design, and I'll take you to a website that has them. They don't handle the grades because these are old, but that's to be expected. I got them. Uh, he gave them to me because I he wanted to trade. I liked them. They were vintage. And I said okay. <laughs> the other one I got here is the AA Alcoholic Alcoholic Anonymous. No, just kidding. It American Airlines. And it's got the eagle symbol on top of the AA American Airlines on the bottom. Playing cards on one side, same on the other. The top says American Airlines poker size. And the bottom says American Airlines made in USA, the US playing card company. So it's a good deck. The back is the same as the front with the AA American Airlines. There's no seal. And I pull the cards out. You do get some ad cards, one for American Airlines vacations. Don't know if that is. I, I, I dare someone to phone that number, 1 800 321 2121, and see if that number is still is for American Airlines vacations. And there's another one, Dial a Flight, American Airlines. Again, this is. This deck is about 15 years old, so I don't know if those numbers still work. As far as faces are concerned, you get the same Arco faces that we saw in the other deck. Number cards, court cards, which I do like. I am a fan of them. One thing I'm noticing is some of the cards have bolder numbers on them. I don't know if it's because... I don't know if they did that just for the spades or just certain cards. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'll go through. The joker is same as the ones I just showed you. Except it looks more yellow. His liver problems are getting worse. <laughs> the ace of spades is very plain. Just a spade pip. Says United States Point Card Company. Cincinnati, Ohio. Made in USA on the bottom. And then the other joker again. Same thing. And... Neither one of the jokers say plastic coated on it. They both have the suits on the hat and down here, which is good because they're not plastic coated. And again, small Arco coat cards for you. And it's a pretty nice stack. The back design I'll show you is very one way, just like the other American Airlines decks that I got and reviewed not too long ago. And it looks just like the front of the box AA with the Eagle, American Airlines on the bottom, the two stripes. The good news is, despite the fact that they're old, they still handle beautifully. They've never been used. They're in good condition, unlike the other ones that I got from Gilvan Corvello, which is where I got this deck from, Gilvan Corvello. I look at that. When you fan it out, it looks pretty cool. Let's see. It looks like a rainbow almost. <laughs> and you can hear it a little bit. <laughs> it's a pretty nice looking deck. Again, it's about 15, 20 years old. Probably closer to 15 years old, but still handles good. It is, however, a one way back design with no borders. Well, it's pretty cool. That's what I've got for you today. I will try to get those contest results as soon as I should have the results by Friday, but it's going to be. Pretty hard narrowing it down. And I know there's going to be a lot of disappointed people, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's what I've got. I'll see you next time.